When it comes to boosting your immune system, there's a great deal of misinformation circulating on the net. First of all, your immune system is not just one thing that can be boosted by a single magic pill. It has multiple components and is only as strong as the weakest link. For example, beneficial bacteria in your gut are responsible for up to 60 to 70% of your immune function in that they can also synthesize a full complement of immune supportive nutrients such as high levels of B vitamins as well as prebiotic immune factors such as lactoferrin, a natural immunomodulator. In addition, and perhaps more importantly, gut bacteria provide a first line of defense against any pathogens that enter through your mouth. In other words, if your gut is not populated fully and properly with beneficial bacteria, you can take all the magic immune pills you want, but you'll be functioning on a severely compromised immune system. And then there are the heavy metals and chemical disruptors that have made their way into your body, all of which compromise the efficacy of your immune system. If you don't clean those toxins out, any magic bullet you take is going to be something less than magic. Again, your immune system is only as strong as its weakest link, so you need to take care of everything to optimize your immune system. But that said, it is indeed possible to boost key elements of your core immune system. Even here, though, there's no single magic bullet that boosts the whole range of key components in your immune system. We're talking about everything from increasing T cell production and protecting helper T cells, to stimulating macrophage capability and promoting the increased production of cytokines, as well as assisting in the cell-mediated immune response. Again, even when you just focus on your core immune system, there are many factors at play, and you are only as strong as your weakest link. Under normal circumstances, your immune system responds to foreign organisms by producing antibodies and stimulating specialized cells which destroy the organisms or neutralize their toxic byproducts. A second major function of your immune system, though, is to watch over all the cells of your body to ensure that they have not become abnormal, in other words, cancerous. A properly functioning immune system is actually your primary defense against cancer. To be sure, Scientists have known for years that it's possible to improve the functioning of parts of your immune system. The conventional medical approach has been to use expensive proprietary drugs, including concentrated cytokines such as interleukin and interferon. Holistic healers, on the other hand, have adopted a more nuanced approach using natural substances. With that in mind, let's take a look at some natural herbal immune boosters that you might typically find in an optimized formula. Not only are they safer than their pharmaceutical counterparts, but they have fewer side effects and are surprisingly often more powerful. Keep in mind that you need to think in terms of a multi-part formula so as to boost as many of the elements as possible of your immune system. Again, you're only as strong as the weakest link. Magic bullets are not the answer. The secret to creating an effective herbal immune formula is to select complementary immune enhancers that build immunity across the board in multiple ways. Use meaningful doses of a select number of ingredients, not a large number of herbs used at insignificant doses that merely provide eye appeal on the label. In the trade, we call those ingredients pixie dust. And finally, use only the highest quality herbs, not the cheapest. For example, manufacturers can buy ginseng for $5 a pound or $400 to $600 a pound for high quality wild crafted or organic ginseng. Which do you think actually works? When it comes to your health and your immune system, you want your formulas made with only the highest quality ingredients. With that said, let's take a look at what actually goes into a good multi-part immune building formula. There are several ways that immune boosters can ramp up your immune system. One of the simplest is by presenting your immune system with what it perceives as a non-specific threat, a foreign antigen, if you will, that in actuality offers no real threat to your body. This false threat causes your immune system to power up its defenses. However, since the immune booster presents no actual threat to the body, the immune system has nothing to use its newfound readiness against, and thus it waits, charged up, and primed for some, any threat, to manifest so that it can jump on it with a vengeance. One thing to keep in mind about this kind of immune booster is that the immune system can be fooled by a false threat for only so long before it says to itself, Ah, uh, you're just yanking my chain. I'm on to what's happening here. Time to stand down. And thus, the effectiveness of the supplement begins to wane. When using immune boosters of this type, it's best to take regular breaks so your body forgets the false threat presented to the immune system and resets. This works because since the threat is false, the immune system never actually gets to take the final step of attacking the immune booster in question. And that final step is required 
for the cells of your immune system to memorize a response to an invader. Thus, you can pull your immune system's leg again and again as long as you take that break, keeping it on high alert indefinitely. For echinacea-based formulas, then, it's best to take a one-week break every month. That week off is enough to allow your immune system to forget and reset. And it's not like you're defenseless in that week off since your immune system doesn't instantly stand down when you take a break. During that week, there's just a mild lowering of readiness. Now, in addition to tricking the immune system to ramp up, echinacea has a number of bioactives that help in several other ways. First, echinacoside is a natural antibiotic comparable to penicillin in effect. It can kill a broad range of viruses, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa without ever involving your immune system. Echinacea also contains sacoric and chlorogenic acids, as well as cinerin, which all work to charge up the immune system by stimulating phagocytosis, the process in which your immune cells engulf invaders. In addition, echinacea contains high molecular weight polysaccharides such as heteroxalan, arabinogalactin, and fucogalactoxyloglucan, which stimulate macrophages and possess anti-inflammatory activity. In summary, Echinacea is invaluable in wound healing and in the treatment of infectious diseases. Research has also reported echinacea's efficacy in treating colds, flu, bronchitis, and tuberculosis. And echinacea contains echinacein, which along with echinacocides, protects against germ attack by neutralizing the tissue-dissolving enzyme hyaluronidase, which is produced by many germs. But among the many pharmacological properties reported for echinacea, the one demonstrated most convincingly is macrophage activation by increasing the production of interferon gamma. In addition, one study showed that echinacea extracts astonishingly can boost T cell production by up to 30% more than pharmaceutical immune boosting drugs. And finally, echinacea also increases production of the chemokines interleukin-8 and MCP1, which enhance the migration of immune cells to the site of infection. And then there's powder arco. Like echinacea, Powder Arco both stimulates the body's defense system and actively attacks pathogenic organisms, especially bacteria and fungi. It has been used for centuries to improve immune function, detoxify, and reduce pain throughout the body, especially in the joints. Research has shown that it contains Lapacol, a natural antibacterial agent that has a healing effect on the entire body, cleanses the blood, and kills viruses. In fact, the primary active biochemicals in Powder Arco are the naphthoquinones, Lapacol, and beta-lapicone. Researchers have shown that Lapacol has anti-tumorous, anti-edemic, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antiviral, bactericidal, even against MRSA, and antifungal activity, not to mention being anti-parasitic. Natives of the Amazon jungle have used Sumarut, Fafia paniculata, for at least the last 300 years. It wasn't until 1975, though, that Suma was first tested at the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. The studies concluded that although it was not a cure, some of nevertheless brought significant relief for cancer, diabetes, and gout sufferers with no undesirable side effects. Since then, studies at the American College of the Healing Arts have indicated that consistent use of Soma may help combat fatigue, including treatment of chronic fatigue and low energy conditions, prevent colds and flu, speed healing, regulate blood sugar, and stimulate the sex drive. In general, Soma is considered an energizing adaptogen an herb used to normalize and regulate the systems of the body when the body is under stress or attacked from pathogens. Specifically, it is used to boost the immune system. In fact, it is Summa's ability to enhance nonspecific immune and or cellular immune systems that likely accounts for its anti-cancer abilities. And Summa has one of the highest concentrations of organic germanium sesquioxide, that's GE132, of any plant known. Discovered about 30 years ago, GE132 stimulates production of interferon gamma, while at the same time activating cytotoxic natural killer cells and macrophages. It is a powerful immunostimulant. Astragalus has been a foundational herb in traditional Chinese medicine for hundreds of years. It is one of the important qi tonifying and adaptogenic herbs from the Chinese Materia Medica. Current research on astragalus focuses on the immune-stimulating capability of its polysaccharides and saponins. It also appears to be useful in dealing with cancer and increasing stamina. First and foremost, though, it is an immunostimulant used in the treatment of chronic viral infections, hepatitis, edema, common cold, and flu. Astragalus increases the interferon response to viral infections and works synergistically with interferon. It also increases phagocytic activity and antibody levels and improves the functioning of natural killer cells. 
And finally, there's cordyceps. Cordyceps sinensis has properties similar to those of ginseng and has been used to strengthen and rebuild the body after exhaustion or long-term illness. It is one of the most valued medicinal fungi in Chinese medicine and has been used traditionally for impotence, neurasthenia, and backache. Recent research with extracts of cordyceps has yielded a protein-bound polysaccharide with activity against tumors, as well as being capable of upregulating macrophage activity and inducing the cell death of human leukemia cells, while at the same time moderating overactive T cell activation. In other words, cordyceps functions as an immunomodulator, upregulating depressed immune systems, but throttling back out-of-control immune systems. Cordyceps is widely employed to treat upper respiratory problems, impotence, and weakened immune systems, and also by athletes to increase endurance. And that concludes the list of ingredients that I would include in my optimized herbal immune boosting formula. As we wrap up our discussion of this formula, it's important to make note of one outlying fact that needs to be addressed when exploring the immune system. I'm talking about those people who never seem to get sick, never seem to get the flu or catch colds. The thing is, that may not mean quite what you think it means. Keep in mind, as we've already mentioned, that your immune system has memory. If you're exposed to a pathogen, virus, bacteria, etc., your immune system has memory of that pathogen and the defense it mounted to defeat it. Thus, it can protect you against that particular pathogen if it or a close cousin ever returns for years to come and possibly for the rest of your life. That means that those people who never seem to get sick may merely have previously been exposed to cold and flu germs that are similar to those currently circulating about. That gives them the appearance of invincibility, but keep in mind, the only ways to impact the memory part of your immune system are to either get sick at some point along the way or get vaccinated, both of which help build immune system memory to varying degrees. However, when exposed to a new pathogen, one their body has never seen before, these invincible people will get sick just as quickly as the next person. And now comes the key point. Yes, they're going to get sick, but how sick they get and how long that sickness lasts, and not just for them, but for all of us, is entirely dependent on how strong our non-memory immune system is. It is the strength of that part of your immune system, the part you can boost, that determines not necessarily whether you get a cold, but whether your cold lasts three days or a week, and how intense the symptoms are. And that's why you want to make regular use of a broad spectrum natural immune enhancing formula like we described earlier. The specific benefits include stimulating and strengthening your immune system, increased ability to fight infection, strengthening tissue against assault by invading microorganisms, stimulating macrophage capability, increasing T cell production and protecting helper T cells, complementing the action of interferon and interleukin-1, promoting increased production of cytokines, topical application on infected wounds, and assisting in the cell-mediated immune response. The bottom line is if you want your immune system running at peak level, since it's only as strong as its weakest link, you need a multi-approach herbal immune formula that boosts the complete spectrum of non-memory parts of your immune system.